Hey guys, my name is Emma Straley and I'm the middle school lead here at Valley Real Life and I'm so excited to get to lead the devotional this morning and get to talk about 1 John 4. Um, I'm really excited about this, but I'm going to go ahead and start at verse 7 if you're reading along with me. I'm reading it in the NIV. It says, Dear friends, let us love one another for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God because God is is love. Um, throughout the Bible, everything about God's character shows us his love for us. Um, it shows that he is love. Um, there's so many different parts of him that in action are the love of God. And most of us know that love's just not a feeling, like it's an action. My fiance and I talk about this all the time because I'm not someone who's a words person. Some of you guys love getting cards with um, a lot of encouraging things or you love hearing um, words from people and I really don't value words, but I love action. I love seeing people in action um, just show me their love, especially with prayer and things like that. If someone's praying for me, that means so much more to me than if they just say, oh, I love you. Like, I just love to see people in action showing me their love. Um, and who better to show us love than God? Like, he has given us the best example. In fact, um, in the next verse, verse 9, it tells us this. It says, this is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. And this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Um, maybe you've already gone to an Easter service, or maybe you're going to go to one of the ones on Saturday or Sunday. But um, this is just the perfect verse for this right that God loved us so much he sent his atoning his his son as an atoning sacrifice like that is the gospel message that is the good news of Jesus and that is the clearest way we can see God's love but that we can see love in general um and it creates a way for us to love others in a whole new capacity before our love was limited it was not what it could be but now because we understand the love of God because we get to know Jesus because we are made new in him we can love others in a much deeper way and it is such a gift um, the next verse is verse 11 and it says dear friends since God so loved us we also ought to love one another no one has ever seen God but if we love one another God lives in us and his love is made complete in us the church is messy I'll be honest not just this church the capital C church, the whole church, every church in America, it can be messy, right? Like we've all experienced um, highs and lows. We've had some hard experiences in church, but we've also had a lot of good things happen. And I think sometimes when the bad things happen, it's because we lose sight of the church as this body. We are the body, we are the bride of Christ, and we get to um, love one another, and we are called to love one another even when it's hard. And we really need each other, and we need each other to accomplish the mission that God has laid before us. And um, we can't do that if we stop loving one another. We have to forgive. We have to put our love into action and love those that are different from us. Um, love people who maybe make us feel uncomfortable. That's something that's always been hard um, for me to do is love someone who's different than me, someone who makes different choices than I would make. Um, but we are still called to love them, to forgive them, to um, bring them into our family. And that's the beautiful thing about the church is that it's this mosaic of different people with different talents, with different stories. And we make up the body of Christ. And it is beautiful. Like it is this beautiful bride um, of, or not body of Christ, the bride of Christ. <laughs> And it is incredible to get to have that role in the kingdom. And so, um, who are you loving? Are you loving them well? Are you loving those that are just like you? Or are you loving people that are different from you? Are you willing to melt low and love those that um, maybe live a little differently than you? Or maybe um, have a different history than you? Are you willing to love those who are different? Because Jesus did. He loved the tax collectors. He sat with them at meals. He talked to them. He was with them. And his love um, was an active love. And he died for people that were different than him. For people like you and me who were sinful, who were Gentiles, who were um, Pharisees. Like he died for people who were against him still because he knew that 
um, God loved them and he knew that he loved them. And so um, we have that same opportunity. We get to love those because God loves everybody and he wants all of them to see and understand the love of Jesus and to know that his death on the cross was for them. Um, the next verse is verse 13 and it says, this is how we know that we live in him and he in us. He has given us his, he's given us of his spirit. And we have seen and testify that the Father has sent his Son to be a Savior of the world. If anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God and God lives in them and they in God, and so we know and rely on the love of God, on the love God has for us. Um, I think this is really funny. As soon as I read that first verse, the, this is how we know that we live in him and he in us. He has given us his spirit. It reminded me of the fruits of spirit, which love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. And the first one mentioned right out the gate, love. Um, love is how we like people know that the spirit lives in us. I think that's the thing that people have always said to me, like, oh, I could tell you were a Christian by the way you loved others, or there must be something real about your faith because you are loving others. And it looks different. You're a light. I remember going one time to um, to a place where I knew there weren't going to be a lot of Christians. And I had my life group pray over me. I was like, can you just help me be a light um, and show people the love of Jesus? And the whole time that I was on this trip, people kept coming up to me and just kept saying, you have been such a light. Like, we just feel like there's so much light coming out of you. There's so much love coming out of you. And I remember just knowing that it wasn't me. It was Christ in me. It was his spirit in me um, coming to life and shining to others. And that city on a hill kind of mentality of I am living in such a way that people can see Jesus in me. Um, and I think that's so important. And as I challenge you guys to love others as I challenge you to love people well to love them differently um, and to love them the way that maybe will feed their soul best you know your loved ones best whatever their love languages are love them well with those um, but also I want to challenge you to um, love those who are different from you and maybe that includes inviting them to one of our Easter services on Saturday or Sunday or maybe an Easter egg hunt um, but it's such a good opportunity to invite and love someone well. It was awesome getting to hang out with you guys. I'm sorry I only covered a few verses, but I will see you guys later. Bye.